G'day, I'm Rowan Leach and I'm in a paddock near Tullamore today having a look at our phosphorus and lime demonstration site. We're out here today just having a, a look. We were planning to have some, some demonstration sites with um, some field walks this spring, but uh, unfortunately COVID's put a break on those for the time being. So we're just doing a few videos. We've done a soil test and it's come back as being uh, phosphorus deficient and also a little bit acidic, which would be putting a bit of a handbrake on production in this paddock. We've got a really good base of sub clover and crow's foot in this paddock, which are both species responsive to phosphorus. You might also notice that we've got these pasture cages set up on the treatment. This is just to exclude the stock from these small little areas so that we can get more of a visual comparison between the two treatments. So in addition to the two treatments, we have a control which has no fertiliser applied. The prescriptive rate at the Tullamore site was two and a half tonnes of lime and 125 kilos of single superphosphate per hectare. The soil test response rate was very similar in terms of lime, but we doubled the rate of super as we had quite low levels of phosphorus in the soil. While this demo is by no means a randomised scientific trial, it does provide us with some important visual responses that the video doesn't quite do justice. To the right of the line is the fertiliser treatment and to the left is the untreated control. The prescriptive rate of fertiliser is quite showy with this crow's foot or stalk spill elongating and flowering, but importantly, the clover underneath looks fresh and healthy. While setting up the pasture cages, I tried to get patches that were representative of the paddock. However, didn't manage that well here in the soil test response treatment, selecting a particularly weedy patch low in clover. Here is a photo of the treatment just outside the cage. G'day, here we are at our Forbes site for our phosphorus and lime demo. Uh, this site, after our soil test, we discovered it was highly deficient in phosphorus and also quite acidic. So our lime and phosphorus treatments have really uh, increased productivity here. We've got a, a really good clover base with barley grass and rye grass here, a little bit of yellow bird daisy, but uh, the clover has really responded to the, uh, to the fertilizer treatments and we've really increased productivity. So it just really shows the value of uh, of soil testing and applying the right nutrients to your pasture. The Forbes site has had the same treatments as the Tullamore site, that being a control, a prescriptive rate and a soil test response rate. You may also see that the livestock in this paddock have heavily trafficked around the pasture cages. We plan on monitoring these demo sites for the next several years, so we will move these cages at the end of the season to ensure that these sites maintain their ground cover. Of all the sites, Forbes has had the greatest response to lime and phosphorus and has produced much more dry matter than the control as a result of the fertiliser application. You can see with this photo taken from within the demo looking out, the thick pasture and sudden drop off in the growth from our treatment area. I was able to set up the cage on a particularly good patch of pasture on the soil test response treatment with the pasture growth compared to the control immense. Here is another photo illustrating the difference between fertiliser and control. No fertiliser. Fertilizer. We hope to release further videos in the coming weeks of our final two sites at Coonabarabran and Ningen. Stay tuned.